On day one, I was born a warden hydra in an ancient city. I started to walk over to my parents, but just then, Vulcan, the god of fire, exploded into my home. Seize the warden hydras, all of them. In a flash, there was a war before my eyes. The Hydras and Wardens were vicious, but so were the Vulcan minions. Wait, what's going on? I watched as my parents fought back valiantly. I wasn't sure if I should fight or flee. Run away, son! How far away? You're our only son, and we can't afford to lose you! I was in terror. I witnessed my dad getting killed. He dropped a Warden heart, and Vulcan collected it in a flash. Yes! I am fused with the heart of a Warden Hydra. I can feel the power coursing through my veins. Vulcan transformed into a humanoid form with a powerful hammer and molten skin. I'm closer than ever to achieving immortality with the power of the Warden Heart. Nothing will stop me now, especially not the Warden Hydras. Mom continued fighting, so I tried to run away, but Vulcan yelled to me. <laughs> I have a curse on you, little Warden Hydra. With that, I will always know where you are, wherever you go. I panicked and ran away from my foe. As I ran, I found my closest childhood friend, the Warden Axolotl, Warren. Pronto, this way! I know how to get out! Together we escaped, running for our lives. You can run, but I'll find you eventually. All Warden Hydra hearts will be mine. On day two, the tunnel exited to a dripstone cave with a bunch of Vulcan minions who looked hungry. Looks like baby Warden Hydra and Warden Axolotl are on the menu, guys. Not today. Stand back, Warren. I got this. I tried to fight, but I got hit by the powerful flames of the minions and it did massive damage then suddenly my hearts changed into warden hearts and i could feel my true power flowing through me i was able to shoot beams out of my mouth that made explosions and did a lot of damage this is awesome i unlocked my true power as great as it was unlocking my warden beam things weren't looking good for warren and i there were too many minions for me to handle just then warren jumped into the fight to help me granting me regeneration for a bit eventually the two of us were able to defeat the enemies together, but we were both injured. Warren, why did you help me? It's simple, of course. You're a fabled warden, Hydra. That's why you are the protector of the cage. Wait, Warren, look out! Just then, as we were talking, an enemy we missed appeared behind Warren and killed him. No! He was my best friend! I struck the minion down, but it was too late. There was no bringing Warren back, but I was still injured, and this place wasn't safe to hang around. I'll miss you, Warren. Warren. On day three, I ran until I found a lush cave teeming with plant life. There was some strange light shining from above, but I wasn't sure what it was. Warren, Dad, I miss you guys. There's no way I'm letting this go. I had to get revenge on Vulcan. First thing first, I was hurt and I needed to heal. I collected some glow berries, ate them, and soon started to feel better. As I rested, I heard something coming from above the cave. What could that be? I climbed up and found the outside world. I had never seen the surface before. Out of the blue, I heard my mom calling out to me. Bronzo, you need to run! I whipped around and saw Vulcan was there, and he used his powers to put a cage around my mom. Let go of her! Ah, pathetic Hydra Warden. Don't you understand? I'm on the path to godhood. Once I collect all the ingredients to immortality, I will become the most powerful being of all! Death and all living beings will bow before my unkillable army! Not if there's anything I can do about it! Surrender now or your mother dies! Actually, I don't really care! With one shot of fire, Vulcan burned my mother to death! No! Mom! <laughs> oh, the look on you is priceless! I'll kill you! I lunged at him and tried to attack in every way I could. Vulcan was incredibly powerful though. He barely tried and I was almost dead. He could shoot out magma from the ground and summon volcanoes. I barely stood a chance. I realized that if I wanted to get my revenge, I had to live. There was nothing I could do here but try to run away. I turned and fled as fast as my legs could carry me. <laughs> you can run, but you can't hide, little Hydra. Your heart will be mine!
On day four, I continued running from Vulcan through a dark forest. Eventually, I ran into a huge mansion. Hello? Is anyone there? There was no response, so I entered through the front door. Hello? A moment after I stepped in, the door closed behind me, all by itself. Uh-oh. You've wandered into the wrong house, Warden Hydra. What's that supposed to mean? You've got a bounty on your head. Warden Hydra hearts are going for a high price. Thanks to Vulcan, the will be god of fire. So don't take it personally when I do this. The evoker then summoned a load of vexes that dashed at me. Little swords raised. I fought back with my warden beam while the vexes swarmed all around me. It was hard to hit them since they were so tiny. As I unleashed my power, I began setting the house on fire. Everything was in flames around me. I was killing all the vexes and eventually I was victorious. My house, all of my paintings are on fire. Fire. My priceless collection is gone! Then you should not have messed with me! Really? Then how about you face my next creation? Instead of another Vex, the Evoker summoned a hulking Ender Beast! <sighs> I smell fresh meat! That's not good! As the beast lunged at me, I turned and ran! Prey always runs! The Ender Beast gave chase after me! On days five to six, I made it to a large field with the beast still chasing me. I'm sick of running. It's time to fight. I jumped in and started attacking. At first, I thought I didn't stand a chance. He was so big. As I started to land hits on him, he started to get weak. He hit me with his ender power and his massive sharp claws. I tried to make distance from him, but every time I tried, he would leap onto me and try to strike. I kept firing my warden beams at him, hoping to chip away at his health. Finally, I defeated the Ender Beast. I grew and gained another head, along with 10 more hearts. The Evoker was angry I had defeated his creatures. I will get you one way or another. What's with Vulcan? Why does he want my heart so bad? I'm not sure. He's trying to become a god. Wait, he's not a god already? I get it. If he collects all the Warden Hearts, he will be. I've had enough of you. I'm out of here. He then teleported away. I have to be very careful now. I'm a wanted Warden Hydra. On days seven to eight, I figured I should probably do something to keep myself safe, since it seemed I was all alone in this world. I found a cave and ventured into it, hoping to collect some materials. I specifically looked for some iron, which it seemed like this cave had abundancy of, which was a bit strange. I wonder why there's so much iron here. As I was mining the iron, behind where I was, was a giant mutant spider. Ugh, you're looking for iron? Well, it's all mine and you can't have any. But you're hogging all of it. and I I need some. Do I look like I care? If you really want some, you're gonna have to take it from me. With no other choice, I charged in to fight the mutant spider. It lunged at me, holding me in place with its arms. I fought back with my laser, setting the cave on fire. I tried to hit it, but they were so mobile, and I kept missing. Their poison fangs were powerful, but I wasn't gonna let them win. With one final hit, the mutant spider fell, defeated. As they died, they dropped a bunch of iron ingots. I walked over and picked them all up. Using the iron I had collected, I crafted myself a full set of iron armor and some iron tools. But even after making all of that, I still had a bunch left. I wish I had some friends here to share this with, or just anyone here at all, so I wasn't talking to myself like a crazy person. That's when I noticed some kind of mutant warden watching me from nearby. <gasps> Wishes do come true! So I walked up to the warden to introduce myself. Ah, so you're the warden Hydra I've heard so much about. Hi there, magical wish friend. I'm Bronzo. Honestly, I probably should have specified and asked for something cool, like a unicorn friend, but I guess you'll do. I'm not a wish, but I am magic. Ooh, cool. So do I get like three wishes or what? Suddenly the mutant teleported me away using his magic. On days nine through 10, the wizard had teleported me into a huge coliseum. What the? This isn't the three wishes. Where are we? Be quiet, little one, and observe. I looked into the arena. There were two massive monsters fighting. They were going blow to blow, and the crowd was cheering. Whoa. They have fights like this all the time. The arena has all sorts of weird opponents, and of course the winner is handsomely rewarded. This week it's an eternal stick, a meal that never ends. Such power could help you in your quest. I heard what happened to your parents. I'm sorry, Bronzo. I've always been fond of the Warden Hydras. I even considered them my kin. 
I'd like to help you win that wand. Right now, there's no way that you can win against those beasts, but you have great potential in you. I want to train you in the ways of the mystic arts. I'm way stronger than I look. Those guys will be a piece of cake. Bronzo, wait! I jumped into the ring, and the crowd gasped. <gasps> I am the great and powerful Warden Hydra, the last of my kind. Send out your strongest fighter so I can claim my prize. Suddenly, a giant Warden Mutant walked into the arena, and our fight began. I fought the Warden Mutant using my laser, but he was unaffected by it. It bounced right off of him. He even ran over the arena, lunging at me and punching into the air. His size, speed, and strength I couldn't match. I tried my best to put up a good fight, but uh oh! I fell to the ground and passed out. On days 11 through 13, I woke up inside a huge tower. What? Where am I now? I looked around and saw the wizard there in front of me. Ugh, you again. Worst wish ever. I'm not a wish. <coughs> Bronzo, I brought you here after you were knocked unconscious by a foe I warned was far too powerful for you. It was close. Face it, Bronzo. You need my help. You're right. I barely even scratched that guy. Tell me all about these mystical arts. Where do we start? Well, it's all actually very, very complicated. It takes years of practice and a lifetime of hard work. Ah, oh, I'm just kidding. Dodge! Suddenly, the wizard started to shoot a bunch of magical attacks at me. I avoided them to the best of my ability. Hey, what gives, man? You already wounded my pride. What's the point in physically wounding me as well? That was just a mere demonstration of my magnificent powers. Here. Allow me to show you more. The wizard summoned violent change that appeared out of portals in the ground. Next, he summoned colorful magical circles in the sky that rained down lightning. One of his powers even summoned a teal and blue spray that reminded me of the deep dark. Whoa, these are awesome. Even if there was literally no reason to shoot those at me and not anywhere else, they're still super cool. Yes, but this was more dramatic. These powers were passed down to me by Warden Kind. I'm now Bronzo. I'm going to pass them down to you. These will allow you to become even more powerful. Powerful enough to stop Vulcan? That is for you to determine, young one. Without another word, the wizard teleported away, vanishing before my eyes. I'll never forget you, random wizard guy whose name I don't know. On days 14 through 17, I was looking for someone to battle. As I was looking for a fight to further my training, I saw Vulcan and a prisoner near a volcano. It wasn't just any prisoner, it was the Evoker. I wonder what's going on over there. Carefully, I snuck closer to try to listen in to what they were saying. Now tell me, where is the Warden Hydra? I know you've encountered him. How would I know? That was ages ago. Do you take me for a fool? You really want me to answer that? Oh, also, check behind you. Vulcan turned around and saw me. What? <laughs> you fool! Finally come to surrender? As if I would ever do that. No, I'm here to defeat you. I'd love to see you try. Vulcan slashed at me with his hammer. Quickly, I tried retaliating with my arcane slashes, but just as fast, Vulcan began to slam the ground and spray me with fire and magma. He kept pushing me back and then forward. You're not going to win, Warden Hydra. Run away. Feeling that for once the evoker had a point, I fled as fast as my legs could take me. Endless running. You're useless to me now. In one blow, Vulcan shot a beam of fire and killed the Evoker. Not another death. I've got to get out of here. Everyone you have attempted to save has died in my hand. You're a failure, Bronzo. You'll never be able to defeat me. <laughs> I'm so mad. I gotta take this anger out on something. On days 18 through 21, I returned to the Coliseum, ready for a rematch. I looked up to the stands and saw the wizard there. I couldn't let him down. I was also standing in front of the giant mutant warden. It's time for round two. The fight may begin. I ran at him and started the fight, immediately shooting him with my powerful beam blast. The giant mutant warden began slamming down on the ground, sending up sprays of skulk and hurting me. I'm gonna to beat you this time. As I tried to use my magic powers again, something crazy happened and a huge swarm of meteors began to rain down on the battlefield. Whoa, that's so cool. I began attacking with new vigor, using everything in my arsenal. The giant mutant warden was tough, but at this point I was tougher. Eventually I was able to strike down the mutant warden. Yes, 
I did it! It had dropped the eternal stake, and I immediately chomped down. I felt energy surge through me, healing me completely. Hey! You weren't supposed to win! You were supposed to take a dive! Wait, you script these fights? Ugh, no matter. Guards, finish him off! The Colosseum owner summoned some lion-like beasts that held weapons in their mouths. They looked super vicious and didn't even hesitate. Have fun with them. I'll be leaving now. Ah, uh, there's too many! I can't last much longer! I wish I had a way out! I got you, Bronzo. The wizard jumped down right next to me and teleported us to safety. What was that about? Are the arena matches fake? No one's ever won before you. I thought they were real too, but it appears we've been tricked. We'll be okay for now. The Colosseum owner can't find us here. On days 22 through 25, Vulcan and his minions barged into the wizard's tower. I had no choice but to try and fight them off using my magic powers. How did these guys even find me? <sighs> oh no, I forgot that Vulcan marked me and could see my location at all times. The wizard joined into the fight, helping me keep back the enemies as best as we could. The minions torched the ground and sprayed fire everywhere. Some of them even summoned magma. Things were getting too hot. We're trapped. We can't hold them back forever. Can't you tell? Port us out of here? Not both of us. I used all the components I had available for that spell the previous time I teleported. Now I've only got one left. For such a limited ability, we really should have just walked all those times before. Surrender now while you still can. Fighting is meaningless. I always win. Soon I will be an all-powerful god. And there's nothing you can do to stop me. Well, he does make some good points. No, Bronzo, you can't give in. If you let Vulcan get your heart, everyone will be doomed. What else are we supposed to do? Even with the magic you've taught me, we're still not strong enough to defeat him, and we can't teleport away. Our natural magician. I know you'll be just fine without me. Before I had time to object, Vulcan came rushing right for me. The wizard used the last of his teleports to send me away, just in time. When I reappeared, I was back in the ruins of my old home, in the deep dark. On days 26 through 29, I wandered through my old home. It had been destroyed by Vulcan, and my people were all gone. I was the last Warden Hydra, or so I thought. <laughs> Is that another Hydra? Yes, I thought I was the last one. Can I help you? No. In the battle, I tried to run away. As I was fleeing, Vulcan hit me with his hammer. I should have fought with our people, but I was too scared. It's okay. I ran away too. We weren't strong enough to fight him. <laughs> A couple of freedy cats ended up being the last of our people, but maybe it doesn't have to be the end. With my injuries, I'm not too long for this earth. I want you to have my heart. What's your name, kid? Bronzo. Bronzo, take my heart and remember that all of the Hydras are with you. The Hydra died and his heart fell to the ground. I picked up the Hydra's heart. I felt the power of all of the Hydras in the palm of my hand, and suddenly it fused with me. I grew another head and gained 10 more hearts, becoming even more powerful. All of a sudden, I heard something behind me. I turned around and it was an ice bug. It was looting what was left of my home now that Vulcan was gone. And here I heard that all the Hydras left. Just stay out of my way while I finish grabbing what's mine. None of this is yours. Put what you stole back right Right now. Wait, you're that Hydra? The one with the bounty on his head worth a horde of diamonds? Looks like I just hit the jackpot. The ice bug lunged at me. He started off by shooting fists of ice and summoning shards of stone that dropped down from above us. You think that's going to do anything to me? Just you wait. I brought out the magic and gave him a taste of his own medicine. I called on icicle spears to rain on him, then shot him with several epic beams that caused explosions and fires to break out. You irritating pest. Funny you should talk about pests. I channeled all of my energy into summoning my most powerful icicle swarm I could. They speared the ice bug dozens of times until at last the ice bug perished. Shows you to loot other people's cities. But this also means that with that other Hydra and my parents gone, I really am the last of my kind. On days 30 through 33, I left in search of other cities to find some friends. I wandered around the caves for a bit. As I was looking, I mined some diamonds and made myself diamond tools and a full set of diamond armor. 
return. I tried to make my way through the tunnels, but it was no use. I was lost. Just then, in the caves, I found a wardling. You, you're just what I'm looking for. Me? You've been looking for a wardling? That's oddly specific and kind of stalkerish. No, just a friend and someone who knows how to navigate these tunnels and could lead me to an ancient city. That's a lot of things to just assume that I am. But fortunately for you, your luck. I'm all three of those. Follow me and I'll lead you to the city. I followed my new friend around the tunnels for some time. It's around here somewhere. Little did we know, we mistakenly walked into a mud bug's nest. Dozens of little mud bugs attacked us. They had terrible little pincers that lit things on fire. Together, the wardling and I combated the sliming creatures away. They were actually pretty easy to kill off, all things considered. Not bad. Not bad at all. It's time for dinner. Huh? My children, how could you, you monster? The monster charged at me with rage. I used my magic chains to slow my opponent down. Unfortunately, that wouldn't slow him enough, and he was able to get in close. The mud beast was big, so I knew I had to use my strongest abilities. I charged up my meteors for one big final blow, and I was able to defeat the mud beast. Come on, the city has to be around here somewhere. I just know it. On days 34 to 37, the wardling led me to another ancient city. This one was super well hidden, so it was no wonder that Vulcan hadn't found it yet. Hello, I come in peace. The warden stared right at me. I can hardly believe my ears. Are you perhaps a warden Hydra? The one and only. It is as I hoped. At least one of you still remains. Tell me, what brings you here? I want your help to defeat Vulcan. You've got to know of the evil things he's been doing. He needs to be stopped. Well, we would love to help you. We can spare the forces. Although our city is secluded, danger may arrive at any moment, and we must protect ourselves. There's got to be some way you can help. Perhaps. If you do something for us, then we may be able to do something for you. Well, what is it? Have you ever heard of the Moonstone Shield? If you could get that for us, we could strike a deal. No! What is it? It is full of mystical power and would bolster our defenses. The reason we don't have it is because it lies in an arena in the other world. Guarded by a fearsome beast. You may get there by using the portal at the center of our city. All right, and what do I get for bringing it to you? We'll give you a warden dragon bone, and when you need him most, just break it and he'll appear. Trust me, he's all the firepower you'll need. Great, I'll go get that shield then. On days 38 to 41, I traveled through the portal to an ancient city. Whoa, this place looks weird. I walked around the ancient city, and it was dark and creepy. I have a a bad feeling about this place. I need to hurry and find the Moonstone Shield. After traveling for a bit, I found an arena. As I approached the center, there was a big mutant wolf, and he was blocking a chest where the Moonstone Shield was held. He looks fierce, but I can't back down. I'm here to fight you for the Moonstone Shield. You think you have what it takes? Very well. The mutant wolf jumped at me, snarling. He had some kind of repelling blast that blew me back. I wasn't about to let that slide, though. I countered with my super epic beam. It lit the ground on fire. After that, I summoned some devastating icicle spears and slashes of arcane power. You're powerful. More powerful than I anticipated. I always give it my all. The mutant wolf's attacks grew even more vicious. He bit and stomped and did everything in his power to protect the Moonstone shield. In the end, though, I was able to deal the final blow to him. Now to get that shield. Sure enough, it was in a violet chest at the back of the arena. I need to get this back to the wardens. ASAP. I went back to the portal and took it to get back to the warden's ancient city. Were you able to retrieve the Moonstone shield? I then tossed him the shield. Thank you. Here is the dragon bone. Remember, only break this in your greatest time of need. I will. Thank you. From days 42 to 45, I encountered a group of Vulcan minions on my way to the surface. The minions began throwing fireballs and flaming fists at me, lighting everything on fire. I immediately brought out the icicle spears and slashing attacks. Soon the bigger one fell and died, and only the smaller one was left. I decided to keep him alive to interrogate him. Take me to Vulcan's headquarters, now! Okay, it's at a volcano. It's a man-made one, not a natural one. Just west of here. Of course, I should have known it would be in a volcano. Get out of here. I went to where the minion directed me to, and sure enough, there it was. Vulcan's volcano base. I decided to go in charging at full speed. The place was scattered with tons of minions, and I quickly made waste of them. 
But there was a problem. Vulcan was not in his throne or anywhere here. Vulcan, where are you? I searched some more and eventually found my old friend and trainer, the Wizard Warden. Bronzo, is that you? Oh my warden, how long have you been trapped here? I quickly released him and asked him if he had any information on Vulcan's location. He went to the land of the Eternals to kill them as a part of his immortality plan. You head back to the tower. I'm going after Vulcan. On days 46 to 49, I headed to the land of Eternals. I had to get to Vulcan before he could get what he wanted there. Where is the land of Eternals? From the sky, a curious little fairy creature swooped down. Hi, well, you're scary. Who are you? I'm the last Warden Hydra. Bronzo, who are you? I'm Serena. Well, Serena, you wouldn't happen to know where the Land of Eternals is, would you? Oh, that's easy. I'll teleport us. Whoa, wait, this is just the end. No, it's the Land of Eternals, silly. Okay, if you say so. I followed Serena for a while. On the way, we ran into a pack of mangy wolves that seemed to have a vendetta against me. Your heart will be ours. You're not getting anything from me. As we battled, I began to feel strange. Something about the scenery change made my magic feel different. And when I released the next blast, it came out in a fury of epic lightning bolts. Whoa, that's new. I think I'll call it Thunderbolt Devastation. It won't be called anything when you're dead at our feet. As if that would ever happen. I used my new lightning power as much as I could to see exactly what it could do. It was so powerful, it lit enemies on fire while dealing huge damage. So taking down the wolves was easy. With one last well-placed bolt, the last wolf fell over, dead. You're so powerful. Thank you for protecting me. It was no sweat. Now we're almost there. <laughs> On days 50 to 53, Serena and I finally made it into the Land of Eternals. I hardly had any time to appreciate the scenery. There were Vulcan minions everywhere, attacking all Eternal creatures in sight. It did not look like the Eternal creatures were going to win. Oh no, it's worse than I thought. Run away and get somewhere safe. I'll take care of this. As Serena ran away, I jumped into the fray. I was trying to kill as many Vulcan minions as I could. It was soon becoming apparent though, that there were just too many of them. If I want to stop this, I have to get to Vulcan. He's got to be around here somewhere. I pulled aside an Eternal I had saved and questioned him about it. Have you seen Vulcan? Yes, he's headed up to the temple to find the most powerful Eternal. You must find him. He's in grave danger. Thanks. I took off running in that direction fast. On days 54 to 57, I arrived at the temple, but to my surprise, I was too late. I watched as the most powerful Eternal was struck down by Vulcan. Curse you, Vulcan. No! As he died, he dropped a heart that Vulcan picked up. <laughs> Another step closer to immortality. You followed me again, Warden Hydra. It's as if you seek your doom. Vulcan then began to attack me. As normal, his attacks were ridiculously powerful, but they packed even more of a punch now that he had consumed the Eternal's heart. He summoned waves of magma to burn me, and when I got too far away, he used the chain to pull me in and pummel me. I used my lightning abilities and magic to strike back at him, but he pretty much just shrugged it off. With Vulcan's powers almost doubled, I didn't stand a chance. I needed help. I had to come up with a plan fast. The Dragon Bone. I quickly pulled it out and broke Broke it. Then, suddenly, a warden dragon appeared right next to me. You're Octavius! Yes, I am! Hurry and get out of here! As my duty to you, I will take care of Vulcan. As Octavius began to battle with Vulcan, I ran as quickly as I could. On days 58 to 61, I fled even further. As I ran, I was able to see the full extent of the devastation Vulcan was doing to the area. Everything is burning and there are no people in sight. I wondered if there was anyone left or if what happened to my home had just occurred here as well. I searched around a bit to see if there might be anything worth salvaging. As I was searching, I came across an Eternal killing a Vulcan minion. I stood there and watched. As the Eternal demonstrated some super powerful looking abilities. The Eternal then turned and spotted me. You, you're the Warden Hydra. Yeah, how did you know? You are a wanted man by the Vulcan and his minions. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get strong enough to defeat Vulcan and get revenge. But every time I encounter him, I'm not strong enough. I keep having to run and leave friends behind. A noble cause. 
and a common condition at that. Guilt eats away the purest of hearts. Are you speaking in riddles? Nay, I simply have come to a conclusion. I believe I can help you. You can? How? I will train you myself. Follow me. I will take you somewhere. On day 62 to 65, my new friend Balthazar teleported me away from the land of Eternals into a really cool arctic biome. It feels like my toes are gonna freeze off! <laughs> what a jester you are. That is simply not possible. If you say so, so where are we? This is where I like to train. It focuses the mind. And numbs the body. I sure am feeling the numbing part. Shh. Watch every move that I make. Prepare yourself. All of a sudden, Balthazar attacked me. He began by shooting a beam of embers that lit the ground on fire and pushed me to the side. Ouch, that's too hot. I tried to get away a bit so I would have some room to use my huge attacks, but Balthazar followed me and swung his ax at me in a combo of slashing attacks that dealt a lot of damage. Thinking quick, I struck back at him with my magic slashes and icicle blasts to hopefully slow him down. This guy was as stubborn as they come. He powered through everything I threw at him. Eventually, Balthazar hit me with one powerful blast that pushed me over the edge. Okay, okay, I give in. I had done the best I could, but it seemed I wasn't able to beat Balthazar just yet. You've done well. There might still be hope for you yet. Take this. It's an eternal family heirloom. I have no use for it anymore, but you might like it. Balthazar threw down some netherite armor for me. I hope it sees good use. Thank you! This is awesome! During days 66 to 70, I knew it was only a matter of time before Vulcan found me. I may have gotten stronger, but with Vulcan's recent power-up, I wonder if it's enough to defeat him. This is true. Do you have any other ideas? Other than more training, I've got nothing. There is the wizard. Maybe he's been cooking something up in his tower. Well, I might as well go with you. I have nowhere else to go. Together, the Eternal and I traveled back to the wizard's tower. When we arrived, it looked different. There was ice and snow everywhere. Hello? Hello? Is, anyone Is anyone there? there? Just then, Serena flew into the tower. Oh, it's you again! Look, I found this abandoned tower and made it cooler. Yeah, you definitely made it cooler. But what do you mean abandoned? The wizard is supposed to be here. The wizard? Oh, I'm not sure, but oh, I did hear something interesting. There's apparently a powerful wizard locked up in a huge Vulcan prison nearby. That might be who you're looking for. What? No! I knew I should have walked him back. No worries. We will save him together. Balthazar and I arrived at the prison to see that Vulcan's minions had a lot of prisoners. There didn't seem to be any minions around, so this was the perfect time. I have to free them. Watch my back, Balthazar. I ran to a lever and pulled it, releasing all of the cages. Once I had freed everyone, a bunch of Vulcan minions poured into the room to attack the prisoners. Wait, where is the wizard? One of the prisoners noticed me looking for the wizard. The wizard is all the way in the farthest room. That's where the most prized prisoners are taken. The farthest room is guarded by the very powerful Lava Lord. Thank you! Come on, Eternal! We gotta save the wizard! Balthazar and I headed down the hallway. We arrived at the dungeon, and the Lava Lord guard the prisoner was telling us about was standing right in front! If you want your friend back, you have to go through me first! We attacked each other. The Lava Lord had a flurry of attacks, but I retaliated with my magic. Eventually, Balthazar joined in on the fray, using his axe and powerful fire blast but they didn't seem to do much to a being made out of lava. The giant would summon lava and smash us with his large fists, as well as try to pick us up. We fought the best we could, but he was my hardest foe yet. During the battle, Balthazar got hit with a powerful strike and went down. Balthazar, no! Don't worry about me. Finish him and save the wizard. The guard was already weak from the beginning of the fight, and I was able to defeat the guard. I ran up to Balthazar to check in on him. Are you okay? I want you to have my heart so that, so that you may defeat the Vulcan. I picked up his heart and Balthazar died. Now that I had his heart, I grew another head and gained 10 more hearts. 
along with a new stomp power. Finally, I'm a full-grown Warden Hydra. I was sad that Balthazar was gone, but I needed to focus on finding my wizard friend. On day 75 to 78, I went up to the wizard. I came to save you. I ran over to the cage and broke it open so the wizard could step out. Bronzo, my friend, I'm so happy to see you. Me too, I heard you got captured again, but why did Vulcan lock you up and not kill you? Yes, about that. I am Vulcan's backup plan in case something goes awry. He planned on using me against you. What? That's terrible! Yes, absolutely devious. <laughs> hey, are you okay? You're acting a little weird. Yes, it appears I am. I truly am sorry about this, Bronzo. I just can't help myself. What do you mean? Out of nowhere, the wizard began slinging magical attacks at me. I had never faced the full brunt of his power before and it felt terrible. Stop, what are you doing? My eyes have been opened. I'm killing you and will retrieve your heart. Vulcan will be immortal, even if I have to see to it myself. On days 79 to 82, the wizard continued to attack me. I felt very betrayed. I thought he was my friend. What happened to you? The wizard said nothing and continued to strike me with the same arcane slashes and bolts of lightning he had taught me. It looked like I would have to kill him if I wanted to survive. I don't know what Vulcan did to you, but I'm sorry. I countered his attacks with my own. They were more powerful than his, thanks to all my training. But it did not feel like I was doing anything good anymore. You're right. Vulcan broke me. I am truly sorry. Then stop this! I cannot anymore. It is too late for my soul. There's got to be something I can do. Kill me. That will put me at peace. I didn't want to do it, but it seemed to be what the wizard wanted most. Regretfully, I aimed my beam attack at him and shot it. It only took a moment before the wizard fell and died. You were a true friend. I swear I'll put an end to Vulcan and avenge you. Now that all the prisoners were freed and the Vulcan minions were dead, I was sure that Vulcan wouldn't be able to use this prison again. With that last thought in mind, I left the prison. On days 83 to 86, I was on my way back to Vulcan's home. I was sad that Balthazar and the wizard were gone. Soon, Vulcan is going to pay for what he has done. As I was traveling, I heard a familiar voice behind me. Hello, Warden Hydra. I turned around to see Vulcan. I knew you would be here. It's a shame what happened to the prison. But did you like my experiment with the wizard? <laughs> he was so easy to manipulate. You killed my friends. You're gonna pay. In blind anger, I charged at him, shooting my beams and letting everything at him. Vulcan barely flinched and began swinging his hammer back and forth at me, calling forth flames, embers, and magma. The first opportunity he got, Vulcan summoned several of his minions to assist him. Although the minions put up a good fight, as always, thanks to how powerful I had gotten, I was able to defeat his minions pretty quickly. Are you afraid to fight me by yourself? <laughs> You're so funny when you're angry. Vulcan knew there was no way I could defeat him right now, so he was not worried. He was more curious on how far I would go. I will let you live for now, but you must survive this. He then summoned a fell colossus. Good luck. <laughs> Vulcan then teleported away, leaving me alone with this monstrosity. On days 87 to 90, I was standing alone before the fell colossus. He looked ready to fight me, and I was more than ready to fight back. I was so enraged with Vulcan, I had to take it out on something, and I had the perfect dummy in front of me. I'm gonna pummel you into the dirt. My rage was pent up so much, I just wanted to yell at him, at everything. I was so angry that something came screeching out of my mouth right at the Fel Colossus, hitting him straight on. It was my sonic boom! Oh, my ears! What was that noise? It hurts! Wait, that's a cool power! I don't care. 
I'm smashing you! The fell colossus charged at me, stomping down everything in its path. As he approached, he summoned more of his companions to attack me. The group of them smashed and hit me, and I tried to use my own stomping power and beam attacks to fend them off. I also used my sonic boom power as much as I could. I remembered when the wizard had used it. It was super useful and also helpful at getting my anger out. Eventually, the last Val Colossus collapsed into bits and pieces. Haha! <laughs> Guess he couldn't keep it together. Even as I made that joke, I felt like I was in a lot of pain. I was tired of being hurt all the time, and I wished I could do something about it. Looks like I'm stuck here for a while, until I get better. During days 91 to 93, Serena found me. Don't move, I can hear you. With some kind of magical power, I was healed up to full. What is that? It's power from my people. I just discovered it. Is there any way you can teach me this power? You'll have to visit my home. If it'll help me get stronger, it doesn't matter. Then follow me! Serena instantly teleported us to her home. Here we are! You see that void pool? Yeah? You'll have to bathe in that. Then you'll gain powers to heal like me. Simple enough. There's only one problem. What's that? It's guarded by the Demon General. You'll have to defeat him first. Demon General? You mean to tell me you defeated him first? I sure did! I'm more powerful than you think, you know! Alright! On days 94 to 96, I approached the pool that Serena told me about. Just as she said, the guardian of the pool was there, none other than the Demon General himself! You who approaches the Sacred Spring, what is it that you seek from this place? I want the mystical healing powers that it provides. I believe it'll help me get rid of Vulcan, who is a great evil to this world. Very well. The intent is noble, but first you must overcome my challenge. Bring it on! The demon general ran at me with his sword drawn. I immediately used my sonic boom and magic abilities, hoping to push him away. This guy was strong though. He continued to charge at me like it was nothing. He began to shoot blue flames at me and sprayed green flame all over the ground. I let loose one last beam attack, Finally, it seemed that the Demon General had had enough. He backed away, giving me room to enter the Void Pool. You are a powerful opponent and have battled many foes to reach where you are. You have passed my test and may now pass with honor. Thank you. I passed by the general and stepped into the pool. Ooh, it's cold. As I stood there, I felt the power of the Void Pool enter me, and I realized that I had gained a new power. Since I was low on hearts for my battle, I immediately tried it out and began to regenerate hearts, just like a true Hydra. I felt full of power now, just like the Warden Hydras of legend, like the ones my good friend Warren mentioned right at the start. I turned back to the Demon General and thanked him. It is nothing if it means the defeat of Vulcan. As you said, he is the scourge of this land. If anyone can stop him, it is the last Warden Hydra. You're right, I won't let you down. With that done, I turned and left the pool and the demon general behind. On days 97 to 98, I went back to the wizard's tower and there were other wardens visiting. I saw all of my friends and ran to them. Guys, I'm going to defeat Vulcan. I can't wait any longer and I know I'm ready now. Is there anything we can help you with? Actually, you can. Just drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment on the video about your favorite power I gained. Can do. Okay, I'm off to defeat the Vulcan. Good luck. Good luck. You're gonna need it. On day 99, I went to the Volcano Fortress. I knew Vulcan was there waiting for me, but along the way, I had to tear through his minions. Bring it on! I summoned my power to shred the minions to pieces. At this point, I was way too powerful for small creatures like them. With the combined might of all my sonic booms, arcane power, and epic beam attacks, I cut through the minions like butter. The last minion standing stopped fighting and tried to talk to me. Stop! I'm sick of this war! Huh? I'll tell you where Vulcan is. He's at the heart of the volcano. How do I get there? You have to go into the hot caldera. I left the minion and started my quest into the caldera. As I was walking over to the active volcano into the caldera, I started to realize that the minion was right. It was really hot, but no amount of heat was going to stop me from getting to Vulcan. 
After a little bit of travel, I saw a huge open area. It seemed like Vulcan had already prepared for the two of us. Looks like Vulcan is waiting on me. Let's do this! On day 100, I entered the core of the volcano's caldera to face Vulcan for the last time. Something was different about this area though. The floor felt like it was burning my feet. The air felt like it was scorching my lungs, but I couldn't quit now. I was the last of my kind and I have survived so much already. Your time has come, Vulcan. <laughs> so the little Hydra Warden is no longer so puny. Maybe this will be somewhat entertaining for me. Is that all this is to you? A game? Yes, a game where I win at the end. Once you fall, I'll consume your heart. And then I will be immortal. Not today, Vulcan. You're dying now for all the evil you've done. <laughs> you never cease to amuse me. Very well. Let's see how far you've come. Vulcan ran at me, raging to fight. Right off the bat, Vulcan slammed down with his axe and summoned a wave of magma. Since we were right in his home territory, his power seemed to have increased tenfold, but I was not gonna go down that easy. I summoned my arcane powers to devastate everything around us, calling down lightning and meteors to swarm at him. So defiant! You're going down now! Vulcan pulled me towards him, but I was ready. I opened my mouth for one ultimate beam attack and let loose everything I had. The beam poured right through Vulcan this time. I did it! I defeated Vulcan once and for all! Bronzo!